Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak for ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I want to talk about a recent study about men taking Proscar or finasteride to try and reduce the risk of getting diagnosed with prostate cancer. A recent study was further analyzed in which men received either an inactive drug or placebo or they received the active drug called finasteride. They took it for seven years, and at the end of the time, they were told to have a prostate biopsy. The study found a significant reduction in the likelihood of getting diagnosed with prostate cancer. However, there was also a small increase in being diagnosed with a more dangerous prostate cancer. And based on this, the FDA decided not to give an indication of that drug for the purpose of preventing prostate cancer. This recent study was done to try and help allay some of those concerns because they looked at the overall survival after nearly 18 years of follow-up. And during that time, they found that the two groups had similar survival. So that means that men were able to reduce their risk of getting diagnosed with cancer, even though they had a slightly higher risk of a more aggressive cancer, it didn't lead to a higher chance of dying from prostate cancer. There are some problems with the study in terms of the analysis that do lessen the possibility of this drug being worthwhile. One of those is that there was nearly twice as many cancers found in this trial as has been found from studies that looked at routine screening for prostate cancer. So, if men don't take a, a pill and then get a biopsy at the end of seven years, it's much less clear whether or not they're benefiting and by how much. Another problem is that many of the men who were diagnosed with prostate cancer had their age, their age was over age 70, where the benefits of treatment seem to be very small, if any at all. And for that reason, it creates a bias in the analysis, a bias in favor of taking finasteride. So, where does that leave people? The FDA has not approved this drug for the purpose of preventing prostate cancer, and I doubt that they will. However, it's not unreasonable for a man who is in the middle ages, 45, 50, 55, 65, to consider taking the drug or at least having a conversation with their doctor about the pros and cons. They might say, well, I can lower my risk of getting diagnosed with cancer, even though it has a higher risk of being diagnosed with a more dangerous tumor. Whether or not that impacts on your survival will be unable to tell you anytime soon. For now, it's something to consider, but the downside may outweigh the upside, and you should be aware of this when thinking about what to do. I hope you find this information useful. You can send me a commentary uh, through Twitter, if you would like, at, at Prostate Videos, and I'll be happy to respond to any of your comments. Thank you for watching.